kids. Mr. Travis here. We sure do miss you guys. Yeah. It's been a while. Yeah. so good I got out of bed had a gator on the front porch and I said this is gonna be an awesome day and I looked up and saw a little bird just fluttering around I said I want him to be my friend what kind of bird so was I'm it? looking for a friend you're oh you need a friend yeah, yeah. so yeah. I'm out here looking for him man, and I'm just not having a lot of luck but you see I went behind the house I got down and I dug in the dirt yeah and I good got dirt. I had to fight a, cr a crop. Man, you know what? I can tell you right now, I love some good worms. I, look I at a juicy good. worm right there. Hey! Hey! No! No! That's my only friend! Mm. That's my I, friend! I, I, I think you're one of them. Maybe you'll get, get your friend. buddy with that later. I never will have a friend. I'm going to be lonely all my life. Hey! hey. Mm -hmm. That's perfect. You know what we're learning about today? Uh, There's somebody that is with us always. Really? Who, uh, who's that? All the time. Who's God. that? God. God is with God. us. Hey, so, yeah. oh, oh, God. God. No, no, God. you don't have to do that. Oh, no, there's no need, no. Hmm. What do I have to do? Just, if you'll hang around with us today, we're going to learn more about God and how he is with us all the time. All right, man, I just, woo, God, God, God. I'm not sure he's going to find a bird friend with calls like that, but at least he knows God is with us. All right, guys, so we're talking about God is with us. The story you're going to hear today is about Moses. Now, Moses has had a pretty eventful life up to this point, but today we're going to start where he was a shepherd out in the mountains. Moses was shepherding and came to the mountain of God, Horeb, the angel of God appeared to him in flames of fire out of the middle of a bush. The bush was blazing away, but it didn't burn up. Moses said, what's going on here? Why doesn't the bush burn up? God called to him from out of the bush, Moses, Moses. He said, yes, I'm right here. God said, remove your sandals from your feet. You're standing on holy ground. Then he said, I am the God of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. God said, I've heard the cries of my people in Egypt, and now I have to come to get them and bring them to a good land. I've seen for myself how cruelly they're being treated by the Egyptians. I'm sending you to Pharaoh to bring my people, the people of Israel, out of Egypt. Moses answered God, what makes you think I could ever lead the children of Israel out of Egypt? I'll be with you, God said. Then Moses said to God, suppose I go to the people of Israel and I tell them, the God of your father sent me to you, and they ask me, what is your name? God said to Moses, I am who I am. Tell the people of Israel, I am sent me to you. Now gather the leaders of Israel, tell them everything I've told you. Then you and your leaders of Israel will go to the king of Egypt and say to him, let us take a three-day journey into the wilderness where we will worship God, our God. The king of Egypt won't let you go easily, so I'll step in with my miracles. Moses objected, they won't trust me. They won't listen to a word I say. So God said, what's that in your hand? A staff? Throw it on the ground. He threw it. It became a snake. God said to Moses, reach out and grab it by the tail. He reached out and grabbed it, and he was holding his staff again. God then said, put your hand inside your shirt. He slipped his hand under his shirt and took it out. The skin of his hand had turned sick. He said, put your hand back under your shirt. He did it. Then he took it back out, and it was as healthy as before. If they aren't convinced by the first and second sign, take some water out of the Nile and pour it on dry land. The Nile water will turn to blood when it hits the ground. Moses raised another objection to God. Master, please, I don't talk well, I stutter. God said, and who do you think made the human mouth? Isn't it I, God? I'll be right there to teach you what to say. He said, oh, Master, please, send someone else. God got angry with Moses. Don't you have a brother, Aaron the Levite? He speaks very well. You'll speak to him and tell him what to say. I'll be right there with you, teaching you step by step. 
Now take the staff in your hand, and you, you'll use it to do the signs. So Moses returned to Egypt. So God clearly told Moses to go to rescue the Israelites from slavery in Egypt. When Moses was scared, God said, I, am, I will be with you. God is with us. Whether you're scared or you're lonely or you're just bored from being at home, God is with us. And that's what we need to remember today. So this week, try to read through Exodus 3, verse 1 through um, chapter 4, verse 17 with your family and read the story again and talk about it more. So before we go, I want to say a quick prayer with you. Dear Lord, thank you for loving us so much that you never leave us alone. Thank you for being with each of us no matter what they'll be facing. We know that you'll be there to help us. Thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Bye, guys.